Good morning. Uh, I'm Mario from Vost Portugal. Uh, and I'm here to talk about uh, where open source meets emergencies. Um, okay. Okay. What is a Vost? Uh, a, Vost a Vost is a virtual operation support team. Um, uh, we are we are volunteers that work in uh, work in ver uh, various types of of emergencies. We work from our from our computers and we provide information to populations uh, 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 before, during, and after uh, emergencies in several in several co countries. We are a global team. We who every country has like uh, one vo one vast. There's Spain and France even have like. Um, a Vost for each county. So there's Vost pa uh, Paris, there's, there's Vost Lyon, etc. And, uh, and some bigger, some, some smaller. And we are Vost Portugal. Okay. So who are we? Uh, what do we do? Um, we are founded by, uh, we are founded by f seven people uh, during Monchique fires in 2018. Okay. <laughs> And, and became part of Vost Europe in October uh, uh, 2018. Um, Vost Europe is, la is the, the group, the main group of Vosts uh, working uh, officially in Portugal. Uh, we, uh, we, we work all together so we can provide uh, information to other, to other, um, to other Vosts and they provide uh, information to us. So, um, uh, in in the end, we are like a, a group with a thousand and a thousand and thousand members, um, and there are some differences between Vost, other Vostas and uh, our Vost. We have a strong tech team. We have the developers. We you, uh, we have uh, designers, and uh, we we work with technology to to give data. To, um, to the populations. We make a lot, a lot of, st uh, lots of stuff, um, to help, to help people. And right now, uh, and right now we are a core team of 40, uh, volunteers and, uh, 150 volunteers on call. Um, on call means that in case we need, there are, um, in case we need, we can, um, uh, we can ask them so, uh, to uh, to work and to and to be part of the activations. Some uh, some example uh, some examples of activations we did uh, is is the Hurricane uh, Leslie, Silicon Idai in Mozambique, uh, Villa de Rey, uh, Villa de Rey Maçã, uh fires, and the the last the two weeks ago uh, Hurricane Lorenzo. Uh, we all did activations with that. Uh, we all gave information to people. Um, so, uh, some say we saved some lives during the Hurricane Leslie in Figueira da Foz because everyone thought the, um, uh, the hurricane was, was hitting like Lisbon, that this part of Lisbon, and it hit Figueira da Foz and we, we could tell already to people that were on scene that, okay, no, it's not gonna eat in Lisbon, it's gonna eat in Figueira da Foz. We need to prepare there. And, uh, it was us that give, uh, that gave some, some warnings and, Thankfully, uh, no one died um, because, uh, on that hurricane. So, we made Janon da Um If you if you talk about with anyone about Vos Portugal, no one knows who we are. Who, who we are? I can tell you about everything we, we did. You probably don't know, but we did Janon da Praverser. Janon da Praverser, everyone knows. Uh, it was a simple. It was a simple index.php file made four hours after the fuel crisis uh, started. Uh, the fuel crisis was because the um, the truckers from from uh, that were filling the uh, the gas the gas stations didn't uh, were 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 striking uh, for better pay, so it it created a, um, a fuel crisis and. We, we, uh, we decided, okay, let's, let's do this. It was idealized by, uh, João Toma Ocpina, uh, the, the developer of Fox.pt. Uh, you almost know, uh, uh, about that. 
Um, and it was a simple, it was a simple, literally index.php with a simple data, data tables.js that was, um, that was calling the API uh, every page view that, uh, that we, uh, uh, every, uh, it was calling the, the Google Spreadsheets API every page view we had. All the, all the validation was manual. Uh, it was, <laughs> it was, uh, it was simple. It was really simple. It was a table with pumps that didn't have gas. And that's why I'm talking today. Using Google Forms was a mistake. <laughs> Um, we had all sorts of people, uh, giving, giving information about, uh, about the gas stations. The gas stations, they, they, they went to, uh, fill up their cars, but didn't have. Also, everyone was, was, uh, was filling, was filling our, our form. Um, and our data input was Google Forms. Google Forms was literally, uh, a, no, a name, a locality. The, uh, this part was already the second version of Google Forms, and we still have almost tw uh, 20,000 uh, uh, answers. It was crazy. Um, it was simple. It made the, uh, made the, it, it, it worked. Um, but there was, uh, there was some problems. Someone with a script to fill up our Google Forms. So part of that 20,000, it was a, a, a Google, a bot to that filled up. And there were, there, we even, some, some of our volunteers even catched, uh, a guy talking in a coffee shop, uh, that, okay, le let's, let's fill up with bogus information. So, uh, from the station like, uh, down the street, so we can go fill up our cars simply with no with no lines. This happened, uh, and of course, it was starting to get. With the, uh, uh, we were getting we were getting uh, calls about gas station call um, gas station uh, people that were okay, uh, but we have we have gas, but you uh, you are telling that we, we don't we don't. So what's happening there? It was really, um, really, really mad. It, it was crazy. Um, and there was some, some stuff that happened in our Google tables. Remember, we had, uh, we had no validation for the first three hours of the, and everyone was starting to, to, to end, uh, to give, um, uh, to give bogus information to, because we don't know yet, but I think that's, that was funny. Uh, I don't know what happened there, but it, it, this happened. So, um, like I said, it was chaos, completely. 20,000 uh, 20, 20, uh, answers, manual, uh, man, uh, manual validation, uh, we the developers were working at the same time that uh, that 40 uh, that 40 volunteers were editing the uh, the google spreadsheets so basically we were adding okay now you, you have to uh, to fill up the, this column to to for the um, the gas station to to appear on on the the website and okay now we are moving the column to the to the first to the to to, to the letter a okay now it was crazy. It was chaos. Um, it happened. It was so fast. Everything was happening so fast because if you, if we moved, if we moved, um, the column, the site, the site broke because we were uh, calling every page view. We were calling the API. Chaos. Every page view, we are calling the API, right? So a Google spreadsheets API has a problem. It has a rate limit. We are blocked from like after what eight hours of the website being up. Uh, suddenly the website stopped working and we're, what's happening? I don't know what's happening. Uh, we were, we went, we went to see API got blocked. The, uh, Google said, okay, no, that, that Google spreadsheets is having too much traffic. We don't, uh, we don't want it here. 
Um, and but we made it work. We created the even we even created the stats page. I don't have any print screen, but it was kind of nice. Um, and we made it work. It, and um, and the activation and the activation ended. But after the activation ended, we had uh, some we had we had, we had learned a lot with that. And we learned a lot, and we decided, okay, let's make it a better one. Um, the the, acti um, the strike ended, and the, and the the, uh, the truck drivers uh, said uh, uh, said to after write it, okay, we are stopping now the the um, the strike, but we are doing one like in one month or something like that. So we we knew, okay, we have one month to create a better version of Jano da Pravarce. Um, so we've learned a couple a couple of things. First, we needed to validate the entries. Uh, we couldn't have that type of of entries in our in our site. It decredibilized our our entire platform. Um, we needed a way that we could. Okay, uh, we have only this list, and you you can only send information about this list. So we got a list of all the gas stations in Portugal. It's like 3,000, something like that. Uh, it's, it's a lot. Um, so uh, we wanted to show the stations on the map. Uh, lo lots of, lots of uh, problems we had is because the people wanted to know where they could fill up, not where they couldn't fill up. Um, so... We were showing only the the stations that were were empty, uh, were empty of of gas. But they didn't want that. They wanted, but where they, where can I fill up? Where do I have where do I have uh, gas? So we needed to show all the stations on a map, and uh, with different icons show um, show um, with different icons show what type of of uh, of gas and if they didn't, if they had gas or didn't have gas. And this one was a really, was a really nice thing. We wanted to have an API for gas station hours, uh, owners, brands and official entities to, uh, send data to us and gather data from us. Um, we wanted to do that. We needed uh, for our uh, for our volunteers to not have much work um, because it's tiring. If you you are li literally um, um, validating row by row of a twenty thousand uh, file, it's a lot. It's tiring. Uh, we uh, our volunteers were tired of the first strike. We needed the way. For us, uh, all all the brands, all the gas station owners, to send us information. To okay, they send us information. We don't validate. We don't. We as you, we assume that's true, and that's our API. And we needed also easier and faster tools to manually manually validate the data. Um, and this is this is uh, it, this is plain, explains it itself. Um, we also needed some more, some other things. We needed a lot of cash. Uh, when you have like, uh, fifth, uh, uh, sorry, 56 million requests in, in, uh, in like a week, two weeks, we, we, you need to have a lot of cash. Uh, we needed to have cash. We needed to decide to be fast. We needed, we needed a map that was reliable. Um, if you, if you, we used, uh, Google Maps, uh, after the 10,000, uh, page view, uh, Google Maps was blocking us. That happened with Fogos PT. Um, we needed, we needed a lot of stuff that we, that we knew we needed and it was, it was technical. So we went in the, in Laravel and Maps and Mapbox GL, uh, GS. Um, 
it's simple. Laravel, because we are all experienced it. We have a lot of stuff already coded in, in Laravel. Um, and we have developers to do it. And Mapbox, because uh, from our tests, it's, it's a bit more performant uh, with, uh, with multiple points in the map. So we have like 3,000, 3K uh, of gas stations. Uh, sometimes we are showing every, everything. Uh, like Lisbon, we, you have almost a hundred uh, stations in the small, small rectangle. You needed a map to to be fast, to be to work. Uh, so um, we chose a map box also because they offered us a, a license, so we could uh, use it unlimited, uh, unlimited times. Uh, so we didn't have the right problems. Um, and. The, the second version uh, proved to me to be more robust, more robust, um, more reliable, and more attractive to brands. We had 60, uh, f uh, 56 million requests served. It's a lot. And uh, 600,000. Okay, I think I think that's the right number. Uh, this is the right number. I just don't know how to say it in English. Sorry. Um, so. We have um, 600k unique visitors. It's a lot. We have uh, we have uh, six brands, six gas brands, sending us data directly uh, to from uh, to the API. So we didn't uh, need to validate that. We have a lot of uh, volunteers validating validating all the data in the back office. Um, we had a lot of cash, so uh, it, this was an a neat hack that the developers that the developers did. Uh, we had like um, the data uh, the database automatically dumped to a JSON to a JSON file, and uh, all all the what the map did it was getting from the JSON file from the from the um, from the file system. So you didn't make any any type of of database uh, of database calls when you when you were getting uh, to see the gas stations that had uh, gas. It was really nice. It was really fast. Uh, it was amazing, but not everything went smoothly. Um, not everything went smoothly. I myself deleted the database once during the the production. Like uh, real time, uh, we are, we were getting a lot of uh, of people. Get uh, it was two days before the strike the, that the fuel, fuel, uh, that we made the site, um, and the people were already okay. I, I need to have gas to go to go to to the to Algarve. I need to have gas, so I need to go see where where I can uh, when I can fill up the car the car, and we are we're already getting visits. And uh, I deleted the database like 10 p.m. <laughs> it was crazy. So that needed to change because the, uh, the database was deleted. The, when the database was deleted because of a, a malfunction, um, a malfunction comment from PHP Artisan, a lot of health stuff. Uh, it it auto updated the JSON file I'll talk about. So we lost every information we have uh, about gas stations. Um, and uh, but with with this real experience, with real impact, with real people um, uh, uh, using the platform, we learned a lot again. We are already learning, uh, so we are creating Voss for Crowd. Voss for Crowd is the version three. It's basically basically the version three of Janon da Prabert Ser. Uh, we uh, we are basically using the same map, uh, a different type of of form to to send information for us, um, and uh, it will be used in all type of activations that may need a type of map uh, to uh, uh, for people to to know to know how to how to be safe. I can think of uh, of um, of um, 
a working a working place. So it's like uh, you have a hurricane, a hurricane, and you you need to have a, pl a map a map of of uh, centers of acolhimento um, shelters. Sorry, thank you. Uh, you need to have a map of shelters. So Voice for Crowd will help with that. We can. We are. <laughs> Maybe uh, we are trying to in one hour of the incident we having uh, we having the, a website and um, uh, and and the platform for uh, for people to send us data automatically and showing on the map almost instant instantly with validation of course. Uh, so yeah, this is this is why we use open source and. We have a lot more projects of open source. We have Vostia. Vostia is the internal bot. Uh, it's uh, it's a bot of uh, of the uh, in our Discord server. Uh, it it's it, it greets us in the morning uh, with coffee. We st we are still working on the on the thing that it will give us coffee uh, directly, but it shows a message. So it's a start. Uh, it it alert, uh, it gives it gives us alerts of um, about uh, weather warnings like uh, yellow warning, red, um, etc. Uh, and and also to integrates with Fogos.pt, uh, so we can know real almost real time uh, the fires, the wildfires that are uh, happening in Portugal right now. Um, so um, it works in our in our Discord server. That's our our main main channel. It's our like our meeting room. Uh, it works there. We have Vost API. Vost API. It's one API to rule them all. It's simple, kinda. Uh, this is our holy grail of API. Um, it has everything. It stores occurrences, occurrences uh, from protection civil. It uh, it um, it it stores all the acronyms from uh, that everything in the protection civil uh, area as, uh, for example, INEM, uh, CONAC, uh, etc. INEM is Instituto Nacional de Emergencia Médica. CONAC is Comandante Nacional. Uh, sometimes we have new volunteers that don't know that. Uh, even I, when when I started in Vost Portugal, we di I didn't know that. Uh, it was all new for me. So we store all the acronyms, all the acronyms we know, uh, in a database, and it's available in a, an API. Um, the API is also open to everyone. Uh, we in Vost Portugal think data should be available in in for everyone. So uh, everything. Uh, only the Vost, the Vost uh, uh, bot is not, uh, it's available, it's open source, of course, uh, but you can't interact it with it, um, you need to be on in, in our Discord server. But Vost, Vost API, it's open. You, you can go, uh, api.vost.pt, you can go, you can see the documentation, uh, you can do, you can, you can use it, it's open. Uh, it has everything. Um, it, all, all that because we believe that all data generated by public administration, uh, with a few exceptions like national security and, uh, and private personal data, uh, should be public, uh, sh uh, should be public and available in easy to use formats. So that's wh what we are doing with Vost API. And, uh, we have Vost app. Uh, Vost app is the all-in-one mobile app. It's the abstraction from uh, for Vost, uh, Vost API, uh, so it it will have everything. It will have uh, warnings about uh, about weather. It will have um, it will have. Okay, I need to. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, uh, it will have information from official sources and information gathered by us that we think it's a good. A good source. Uh, we are sure it's a good source. We we pride ourselves in that, um, and this will be a one-stop app, one-stop app for anything um, regar regarding self-protection. Which will have everything you can think uh, about: wildfires, 
Harry Kane's alert from uh, Proteção Civil, from uh, Ministério da Administração Interna. Uh, it will. Ha we are hoping that will it will have everything. And if you if you think some someone is missing when when you use it, you can always send us in an email, and we'll try to to gather that data and you, uh, put it on the Vost app. So that's all. Okay, <laughs> that's all. Thank you a lot for hearing me. Uh, I'm Mario Santos, and this was the talk about Vost Portugal in open source. Any questions? Are you also responsible for the Fox.pt? PT? Uh, no, I'm not. Um, uh, responsible for Fox.pt PT is João Pina. It's it's a founder of uh, of Vos Portugal. Uh, we work a lot together, uh, but it's not. Um, we uh, we are not responsible. It's um, a site for uh, from uh, Tomahawk. Okay, but uh, are you um, besides talking with each other? Are you trying to integrate uh, all things together because yeah. they they have a lot of things in common and yeah, they, uh, they we have are... an app already, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so our app is uh, it's developed by the same people that uh, de uh, is developing uh, is app. It's Flutter Portugal. It's a, com uh, com a community uh, too, and we are trying to. We were uh, at least like um, some months ago. We were trying to to integrate everything. So we were trying to uh, aim to to gather information from uh, Vost API, so we could have. A, a, one through source um, uh, for everything, um, and that's what we're trying to do. It's a, it's a complicated it's a complicated matter because uh, like uh, protection civil has four endpoints for the same fires, and every endpoint says a different thing from each other. Uh, yeah, and I'm not joking, <laughs> unfortunately. So it's a difficult point. We are trying. We are doing our best, but. Sometimes it's, it's really hard to 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 do that. Any more? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I have another question. Uh, are you looking for volunteers? How do you call volunteers for working with Vost? And are you uh, working with? Uh, how how are you developing? those new features that you said are you uh, do you work with volunteers for that or do you have a specific team that uh, does the development and it's a, a, a closed development okay uh, so we have only I think one thing that's closed development uh, right now uh, because it's not ready to to public conception and we don't want to give uh, the public a uh, wrong idea so it's only one thing. It's our dashboard uh, that it will be like a web, uh, mobile app, but for uh, for web with a lot more stuff. Uh, that's the only internal thing that we are de developing. Uh, but uh, volunteers, uh, we are always looking for more uh, coders, non-coders, everything. We are always looking for more. You can go to vost.pt and and uh, register there. Um, uh, reg uh, regarding developing, we we accept contributions from uh, from everything, uh, from everyone. Sorry, uh, we have all the all the uh, repositories in GitHub uh, at GitHub.com/vostpt. Uh, we accept contributions from everyone. Uh, of course, uh, our internal team, our internal team of developers. Um, Validates that and and uh, sees if if it if it works or not, uh, and if it goes um, with our view of stuff, and we'll explain, of course. Uh, but we are always accepting all the development is made in GitHub, uh, uh, with exception of the dashboard that is not ready to go uh, to public consumption, consum consumption, um, uh, and it's all. Uh, the rest, even Vostia, that's our internal bot. It's open to the public. It's you can watch, see the code. We can you can see everything. Okay. Anyone else? No. Okay. okay. I'd like to thank, thank Mario you. for your time. And thank you, Mario.